Hi, this is Jim Anderson with Song Tree CFO here with a word of encouragement. And today it's from Luke 8, verse 3, and 21, verse 2. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. And he also saw a poor widow put two very small copper coins. You know, have you ever wondered how Jesus' ministry was financed in the Gospels? Uh, he had, uh, had left his work as a carpenter to go and do his ministry full time. And his twelve disciples had left their fishing careers for other jobs. And, you know, other jobs that they had. Um, they had families to feed and expenses to come up with. And they had to go on the ministry on the road. Um, but God raised up some wealthy women. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, who was the wife of a high political official, and Susanna, and many others. Uh, Luke points to them as the financial underwriters of the Lord's ministry, and that's what we find in Luke 8, verses 1 through 3. God blesses some people with enough wealth to underwrite great causes and become sponsors of ministry initiatives. But it's not only the well-to-do that have the gift of giving. Luke also noticed how Jesus commended the poor widow who put in her two copper coins in, in the offering. And that was what, that's what's in Luke 21 verses 1 through 4. Her gift was a greater sacrifice. Uh, than the others that had given in the temple that day. It was, it was a greater sacrifice. One of the disciplines of godliness is giving. Whether we are wealthy, poor, or somewhere in the middle, we're responsible to be methodical and steady, cheerful givers to support the Lord's work. It's one of the things that we're called to do. It's a spiritual principle that... Um, keeps our hearts soft and, and recognizing who owns everything that we have. With that word of encouragement, this is Jim, and God bless.